Hello and welcome to this short video. I got this request on Twitter, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on it. In this video, we're going to try to solve one simple problem. We're going to do this in Jupyter Lab, but you can do this in any IDE that you have, so Atom, anything else. What we have here is a collection of PDFs, which I intentionally have kept with very long names that I don't want to spend the time typing out. They are quite long. I'll, uh, you'll see them when I print them off. Well, our goal is in this video is to combine all of these PDFs into one PDF. And we're going to do that with a very powerful Python library and one that you should become familiar with if you are a digital humanist, and that is PyPDF2. This is the newer version of an older library whose name always slips my mind. I think it was just PyPDF. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to execute real quick pip install uh, PyPDF2 so that you can go ahead and install it. Now I'm doing this in a Jupyter Notebook so I can execute a terminal command with an uh, with an exclamation mark. If you are using command prompt or any terminal you can simply run pip install in the terminal and it should install correctly. Once it's downloaded it comes time to actually import it. So we're gonna do this very simply. We're just gonna stick with any regular Python syntax. We're gonna say from Py this is where it's a little tricky though, P uh, capital P, lowercase y, PDF, capital P, capital D, capital F, two, and then we're gonna import, we only really need one thing here because we're trying to just merge all these PDFs. We're gonna import PDF, capital P there, remember that, file with a capital F, merger with a capital M. Let's go ahead and make sure that we've imported that correctly and it looks like we have. The next thing that we're going to use to make our life a lot easier is we're going to use the uh, library glob. I believe this comes standard with Python. Uh, I could be wrong. Somebody let me know in the comments. I use it so regularly that I, I keep it in my base environment. So we've imported glob. What does glob do? I have a whole video on glob. It lets you grab a whole bunch of files in a directory so that you don't have to kind of go through and list them all out. So let's see how this kind of works. We're going to create an object. We're going to call it files. We're going to make that equal to glob.glob, .glob, and then we're going to specify where these files are located. In this case, I've got them all in the data subfolder. Let's go ahead with data, and we're going to do a backslash. And because all these have the exact same endings, I can use asterisk.pdf. What this tells glob is to grab all files, no matter the name, kind of like a regex formula here, uh, no matter the name, so long as they're followed by .pdf. That way, if I've got something in that uh, data subfolder, like a text file, it's not going to grab it. Let's go ahead and execute that line, and let's print off files so you can kind of see what they look like. In fact, these are what the files look like. I told you, very long names that I don't want to bother with. What are they? They're a bunch of different MGH uh, volumes that I just scanned one PDF page from. We're going to see what they look like in just a second, but if you're very curious, I'll open one up real fast. Quick download from the DMGH. And it's a few different files in sequential order, and my goal is to just kind of reassemble them all. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to write a, a series of just maybe four lines of code, and we can achieve this. And you can do this for as many files as you want to. That's the nice thing about it. We're going to create an object that's called merger. Your merger is going to be the standard Pythonic way that we represent and call the, uh, the, uh, the PDF file merger. And we're just going to leave no arguments here. Now that we've got the merger as an object, we can leverage it. So we're going to iterate over our files. We're going to say for file and files, so these are our PDFs, we're going to say merger.append. So we're going to append the file. What the merger is doing is it's going in in Python, it's reading the PDF, it's taking all that data, and it's simply compiling it all into this merger object. And the good news is, is once that's done, all you have to do is merger.write, and you're going to create a new PDF. And we're going to call this, let's call this merge.pdf. And then finally, we're going to uh, close the merger. If you don't do this, it's kind of like old school Python. It'll stay open before they added the with operator. Or did they always have it? I'm not sure. But if we execute this command, we'll now see that we've got this merged PDF right here. And lo and behold, we've got all six pages that we had all merged nicely into one PDF. I'm going to include a link in the description down below for the GitHub repo for all of this. I am, however, going to be removing the PDFs. And the reason for that is because these are copyrighted. I don't have the rights to distribute them. But nevertheless, I'm going to have all the code there and leave uh, the data subfolder so that you can do this all on your own. 
that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful and know how to now merge PDFs in Python as a digital humanist. If you like this channel and get a lot out of it, please like and subscribe down below. And if you want to, feel free to donate via Patreon, also linked down below.